It's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another stimulus check update video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the timeline for the second stimulus. We also are going to talk about the $2,000 by Kamala Harris that is back on the scene, as well as the $1,000 that Andrew Yang has been proposing. And then we are going to talk about people that are still waiting on their stimulus. So if this interests you, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. I got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hey, okay, welcome. All right, my name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything, guys. I mean, everything in between. Before we go ahead and get started in the video, I want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers, anyone that tuned into yesterday's video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. My 35th birthday was fantastic. Like, I know you probably see back there in the background, there is a flower cake. I was showered with love all day long, including the messages that you guys left on the video. There were so many hilarious comments on what you were doing at 35. There was some weird comments, and then there was definitely those gems or words of wisdom that people left, and it's always great to have like my season or it, it just anyone just helping me and giving me words of wisdom on how to move forward and get better. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the bottom of my heart. And then I know some of my subscribers' birthdays are today, so happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday, guy. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy your day. So let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. We all know we have been waiting on the second stimulus and a lot of people are still skeptical if there's gonna be a st second stimulus. Let's, let's keep it real. We know exactly what's going on in the world. And as of right now, Congress is looking at there's a lot more pressing issues than to issue out that second stimulus. But we also know that it's the first of the month and a lot of people, the stimulus money is gone and you have bills to pay and rent is due and you're behind and you're stressed out. So according right now to Senator Roy Blunt, he is stating, well, he's, let's just say who he is, guys. He is the Senate Republican Policy Committee. So he's the chairman for that. He is stating that right now that the Senate is not in a rush to go ahead and create that second stimulus package. He said that it is unlikely that anything will happen in June with the respect of further aid package to the American people. Um, in his opinion, the right approach is to wait to July to see what the economy needs. Now, guys, I don't want to create false hope. We've been there. We've seen this before. A lot of people are stating, hey, if we're not getting any money anyway to June or July, why are you guys still creating these videos? Are they clickbait? Are they? No, because it's the news. And we know that when people say something today, an hour from now, it can change. Two hours from now, it can change. Next week, it can change. So, when people are putting out these videos, I don't know what everyone else is doing, but a lot of times it's not clickbait, it's just different information that is circulating. So according to Senator Roy Blunt, he's stating as of right now, we don't see it for the people come June. Now he is stating that his personal belief is that we will do something before the August break and he's ruling out June, but in the meantime, the Senate will keep looking to get something in or through July. So let's think about this. Right now, a lot of Democrats and everybody is saying July is way too late. That will be another month that people are behind on their bills. A lot of the rent mor moratoriums. So guys, that's just a big word for like, pretty much they had like rent and mortgage payments for some states on hold or even with the CARES Act so you couldn't get evicted. A lot of those are expiring right now. So that means like your rent, your landlords can start processing that evictions. So that's what's going on. Also, we know that in July, the unemployment ends for that additional $600 boost. So a lot of people are saying, hey, wait a minute. If we wait until July, that is too long. Like that's too long to wait because then if they approve something in July, let's think about this. If it's approved in July, maybe a few people will get the money in July, but we know that it probably won't happen or you won't see your money until August, right? And on August 7th is the Senate recess. So if they are out and there's issues or anything, then it's gonna be a recess and so you may not get the money till August. So right now, that is the timetable. Nothing as of today, as of today, June 3rd, nothing for to, um, today in June. He is stating push it to July. So I want to ask 
my subscribers and my watchers what do you still need because i know a lot of people i'm putting out videos regarding rent and rent relief as well as like if there's any food programs or anything let me know down in the comment section below what are some videos that i can do to help the american people i am doing my part i know that some people have left their states and for some states i'm unable to find things or the state may have had rent relief programs that were done like in march and april so if you want me to still list them i know people are putting their states guys i see you i haven't i mean i'm not ignoring you it's just what I find for your state, it may be that the deadline has passed or the applications were received. And that's why I'm saying we have to be proactive and let us know down in the comment section below. So let me know what you still need and how can I be of assistance? All right, let's go ahead and move on to that $2,000 by Kamala Harris. So Kamala Harris and Andrew Yang are back on the scene, guys. And we know that these were the 2020 presidential candidates but they are pushing once again for their monthly stimulus payments through the remainder of the pandemic so we know that there was like a virtual meeting a few days ago i want to say like on monday there was a virtual meeting and kamala was stating that hey given that 40 million people right now are unemployed it's time to go ahead and create that safety net for the american people because if we don't it's going to be a disaster and so she is once again pro proposing her two thousand dollars a month to anyone that earns up to $120,000 a year. Now, if you earn between $100,000 and $120,000, you won't get the full $2,000 a month. It will be phased out. But if you really earn like under $100,000, you would get the $2,000 a month. Now, if you are a married couple filing jointly, she wants to go ahead and give you $4,000 a month, and then you would receive $2,000 for each dependent with a maximum of three dependents. She also wants this retroactivated to March um, 2020 when the pandemic started as well as so. She wants you to be able to get your payments for March, April, May, then whatever your payment is for June, and she's stating that each and every U.S. resident can receive this payment, regardless of if you file taxes, regardless of if you have a social security number. And she wants the payments to last till at least three months after the pandemic. Now, guys, that is a lot of money. That sounds like a lot of money. I mean, it sounds great. Like, I'm glad that she's still pushing it. However, you know, and I know, just say that's looking at like $10,000 for march april may like i'm almost 30 to forty thousand dollars it sounds great you know i'm a very optimistic person but also they don't even want to give us twelve hundred dollars right now so to give us ten thousand or retroactivate it great keep pushing for it i don't know i just don't know let me know what you think about that one and then <clears throat> we have andrew yang and he's back with the one thousand dollars a month for life he wants each and every citizen to get $1,000 a month, which is $12,000 a year, no requirements to receive the money, and he wants guaranteed payments each month. Now, I don't think about the $1,000 for life, Mr. Yang. I don't know how that is going to fly over. Once again, it's hard for us to even get a one-time payment of $1,200, but these are what both former presidential candidates are pushing um, as of right now. I'm not going to say that it can't happen as of right now. We never know what's going to happen. Um, let me know, like, what do you think? Which one would you rather have? Just the $2,000 a month, $1,000 a month, just another one-time payment. I mean, because it's looking grim for the next stimulus or even July or August, I'd rather get something right now that we know and all these continuous payments. I don't know. I don't know about that. Now, guys, I know that there are still people that have yet to receive the first stimulus. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have yet to receive your first stimulus. If you're getting some of those messages, the IRS is not updating their website or I would bring you that information and stating how to proceed moving forward. Also, let me know if my H&R Block, TurboTax, veterans, railroad um, recipients or beneficiaries let me know, have you received your stimulus payments as well? I know a few of them were still waiting. So guys, we still have people waiting for the first stimulus and they're talking about like an additional 2000 or or $1,000 a month. <clears throat> I don't know, excuse me. I do not know if that is going to happen. But 
as of right now, the second stimulus is not completely dead at all. I know a lot of people are saying it's dead on arrival or a lot of people don't think that that is going to happen. It's not far-fetched, okay? I'm not being, you know, I'm just being optimistic. It's not far-fetched and we know that if we don't have it and once this unemployment, the additional $600, we are going to be up the creek without a paddle. I sound like my mom now. Oh my gosh, I'm 35. Oh, this is 35. Why did I get those old things? So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below how can I help you. And yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow, right? All right, guys. Bye.